Good evening, everyone. My name is Vegas from I Love Stocks, and I want to talk to you guys about what is happening in the markets and what to expect this week. We have a lot of Fed speakers on tap and then go through a couple charts with you for some plays of the week that I am watching and that you might want to watch as well. So let's take a look here at uh, what's happening in the markets here uh, with regards to some economic events. This is courtesy of my friends of the Trade Exchange. I love them so much. Highly recommend them for a news feed. And uh, definitely, even if you don't want to have the news feed, use them for the morning mashup. It saves you so much time for looking for news. They just give you everything in one snapshot. Um, so you could take a look here, economic calendar for the week. We have a lot of Fed speakers coming up through each day. And so we have to definitely watch and see what is happening in the market. So we'll be keeping an eye on all these economic events for the week. We will also be watching uh, what these Fed speakers are going to say. You could see here that uh, we had crazy Kashkari talking today. Um, this is not a very good picture of him. He looks kind of mean. Um, but anyways, he was talking today. He was on CBS's Face the Nation. And he basically said, you know, they're monitoring everything very, very closely. And that it's too soon to make a forecast about the next interest rate hike meeting. And you know what they say, don't fight the Fed. And just trade price action, okay? So that's really all that matters. And that's what we're going to be doing. So let's have a look here at uh, one of my picks for this week, uh, which I did talk about last week, was um, NVIDIA. And NVIDIA had their AI event. And we had obviously Jensen Wong talking. He's got his leather jacket, kind of thinks he's Michael Jackson there. But uh, I will say didn't really have a bit of a wow day on Tuesday. The stock did have a bit of a pop and um, didn't have such big action the day he was talking. But you know what? Let's not discount the stock because you know what? The stock did have quite the move afterwards. Let's take a look at the actual chart. And I'm going to actually show you as well. Um, let me just show you this chart here. You can see here. This is the NVIDIA chart. I mean, this is gorgeous. Like, who would not want to be in this trade? I mean, look at this chart. Everything's just green, 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 green. Then we had some selling going on. Then we had some buying going on. So this is a gorgeous chart. Love it. And, you know, you just fall in love with these green candles. You're not married to the stock. You're just trading the price action. And that's really what matters here. Um, so if I actually look at the NVIDIA weekly chart, what I have noticed here on the weekly chart is that um, it has a pocket pivot. And usually when you see a pocket pivot on a chart, it is usually when a stock closes up and the volume for that day is higher than any volume for a down day in the prior 10 days. And also a pocket pivot is a footprint that the stock is poised to potentially go higher. So one of the other things to watch is not just price action, obviously, um, and, and the chart's looking really gorgeous. I mean, there's nothing here telling me right now uh, sell the stock, sell the stock. I mean, this is Tommy, stay in the trade. This is an active swing trade. Uh, stay in this trade. So definitely going to be looking to be patient with this trade. And I want to show you here some dark pool money flow, also courtesy of uh, Chatterflow, because they are the ones that have been, um, you know, giving me this information. And you could see here that uh, NVIDIA in particular has had tons and tons of money flow. Look at these prints. Okay, half a million here. Half a million here, another couple half a million, a little over half a million here, 400,000 here. But look at the dollars we're talking, like hundreds of millions of dollars. So when you see things like that, hundred over $100 million, you have to pay attention. Sometimes they're a little sneaky. They'll buy them like and in, in, like cut the lot in half it's just so that maybe you don't notice that they're buying. Uh, but definitely it is something to watch and track. And you don't always know, like, is this a buy? Is this a sell? So what you have to look at in particular is we like to look at the spot of when the stock was purchased and the price. So this is like, let's say that's the spot. So we want to see if the stock can trade above these spot levels that are noted on here. So what we're going to be looking for in particular, okay, we're going to be looking for NVIDIA to actually break 270, okay? If NVIDIA can break 270 in the coming sessions, this has a very good chance to actually head towards 285, 290, and believe it or not, <laughs> this has room to $300. Um, so I'm looking for NVIDIA to potentially hit 300 in the coming sessions. It would not be a tradable stock in terms of the bulls hanging on. If this went under 255, they do have earnings on uh, May 24th, but if it breaks 255, okay, 
then we're not going to want to be in this trade anymore. So just keep a watch here that the stock stays above the level. But if it breaks 270 um, and you're not currently trading NVIDIA for a swing trade, you might want to keep a watch at that level and see what happens if it moves to the upside and consider a swing trade. Obviously, manage your risk, manage your uh, position size, and make sure you have some stops in place and trade according to your trade plan, okay? And I want to be very clear. So just because I have a target that I know that NVIDIA wants to go towards 300, that doesn't mean that it's going to be this week. It could take three weeks, but I'm looking for it to move to that in that direction. So if I'm wrong, I'll admit it. I'll be wrong, and I'll be wrong when I see the stock pull below 255. But for now, this chart is screaming to go long, and so swing is in play on NVIDIA. So next chart we're going to be looking at is my amazing friend, Lisa Sue. I love Lisa Sue. Love the stock, love the company, and definitely want to see here uh, AMD make a move. Okay, so AMD, everyone's been talking about AMD. And one of the things to mention with AMD, it is a leader. And they have, like, so much cash. And what's really important, too, with a lot of these um, tech stocks, too, is, you know, you want to be in companies that have good cash. And also, you know, NVIDIA is connected with artificial intelligence. We saw the stock rally back towards the $100. Let me just pull up this chart here on um, AMD. And this way you guys can see uh, where we would where we traded at recently on AMD. And I'll share the screen here. Sorry about that. So you could see here that the stock did have a push and did break the 100 not too long ago. So we want to see if in really Nvidia, uh, Nvidia, if AMD can break and go back to this hundred dollars. You know the company is really strong. It actually, in my opinion, trades at quite a discount um, to uh, in comparison to Nvidia. Okay, to me they're kind of in the same space, and AMD has really strong cash flow and should actually generate very strong earnings per share growth to warrant this stock in my opinion to potentially double long term and uh, definitely got to be watching this stock because we know that has potential and uh, we've seen it in the past i mean look where it was at one time here 157.50 okay back in march 2021 um looks like and so that was obviously or march 2022 i have to go back and look but you could see here the stock was trading quite high there and so it has the potential to still go back there so what I'm looking for at AMD in particular, I am looking for the actual stock to actually head towards 110, actually maybe 115 on AMD. So if AMD can reclaim that level of 100, okay, then I am looking for the stock to head towards 115. So you could see the $100 level is a very big break similar to like when a stock breaks ten dollars you see all these ten dollar traders lined up to to jump into a stock no different with the hundred dollar line in the sand anytime it's a hundred dollar even or two hundred dollars even they're going to want to jump in so keep a watch here on amd if it breaks this hundred you can consider a swing trade now full disclosure i am already actively involved in amd and also in NVIDIA swing trades, I have option contracts for April 21. So I'm just mentioning the trade because to me, the chart is still bullish and I am wanting to see a continuation. So if you are going to consider AMD and you're not in a trade, you know, don't be chasing it. Wait for the confirmation that it breaks the 100 again. And then you can definitely consider a swing trade on AMD. And uh, stop loss for me on AMD is under $95, so a very tight stop loss. And so we are looking for AMD, though, to reclaim this $100 and make a move to the upside. So we will be watching AMD this week to see what it wants to do. And you could see here that um, it did actually break the $100, okay, on March 23rd. So, and also even on March 22nd. So it has the chance to do it again. So if it can break the 100, you'll see the volume. Look what happened when it broke the 100, that volume jacked up. So let's see what AMD does this week. We're going to be watching very closely things in the market. I also wanna mention um, this past weekend, um, there was a video done, educational video from Joe Fami. And as you guys know, he's very engaging. He's always on Twitter spaces and uh, he's also on uh, various news channels giving market commentary. And so if you want to listen to someone that can actually teach 
and give you good fun lessons okay but but quality information I highly recommend that you tune into his YouTube video that he shared this week for free. Um, he also has a promotion this past weekend uh, that ends at midnight tonight. That if you want to join his educational uh, content, uh, you can get a discount for two hundred dollars, but it's only for this quarter. And then after that, it'll be his regular rate. So check it out. It's honestly probably going to be worth your while to join his community to listen and learn from him. He doesn't have per se a Discord service, okay? Um, he has obviously educational content where he does live videos, educational videos every Wednesday, every Saturday. So he's constantly teaching people and also telling you what he is looking at and what is he uh, looking to uh, trade maybe or what he's already trading at the moment. So definitely keep a watch here. And check out his video. You might be interested to check out his educational service. So highly recommend it. Um, other than that, we'll see what the market's going to do. I want to wish everyone a great trading week. And if you want to join my community, you're welcome to come check it out. My link is in the top here. I love stocks.com. This is my link tree. You can welcome to join any. I have a swing service, which is just for swing traders. And a lot of people sometimes work full time. They don't have time to day trade. So usually people that want to trade a swing trade once or twice a week, they will join the Vegas swing special. People that want to be on voice and listen to me talk all day and hear market commentary and trade in real time, day trades, swing trades, uh, long term picks, they will come to Platinum Plan. And then the Vegas 2.0 is just for individuals that want a couple day trades a day, maybe three to four different ones and see how those play out. But there is no other features there. There's no news desk. There's no audio commentary. There's no scanners. There's no screen share. There's nothing. It's just a basic plan, but it's, and it's more, you know, an a la carte plan it just kind of gives you a taste maybe for the platinum plan. So it's up to you if you want to check it out. My link is there. So otherwise, uh, let's see what the market's going to do this week. I look forward to everyone having a great trading week. And uh, we'll definitely see what how um, NVIDIA plays out and how AMD plays out. And we'll see you guys next week. And have a great week. And see you on uh, Sunday next week. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Bye for now.